G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to be resizing our disk, just like shrink disk in Windows, but we're going to be resizing in Ubuntu on the live desktop environment. So let's do that. First of all, we'll add the ISO back into this VM. So let's do that first of all, Ubuntu 20.04.2 and I'll have to press the right control button and the escape key to get a boot menu in the VM, like so. And we go to boot manager. And then as I think it's the CD-ROM. Yeah, the UEFI hard disk would be the hard disk of the VM. So we need the CD-ROM. Let's do that. Should boot Ubuntu, there we go. And yes, we are in UEFI mode and we're at the um, the install screen, so we're going to click on Try Ubuntu, which puts us in the live desktop environment. And being in the live environment, for a VM, we're already connected through the Ethernet. When you choose to try Ubuntu, when you get into the live desktop, you can then uh, connect to your wireless if, you, if you're on Wi-Fi, and then you can start the installer after that. You can do it once the installer starts. If you don't choose a live desktop, the installer will uh, give you the option of uh, joining your network. So on Ubuntu, they always have Gparted installed on the live desktop environment, but you'll find it's not there once you install. So when you're working with Gparted, just make sure you're selecting the correct disk up in the top right hand corner here. Um, in this case, we only have one. It doesn't show partitions because that's what's shown down here. This um, just allows you to select a physical disk. And if we go to view the device information on this disk, it's 80 gig in size. Um, and it's the partition table is GPT. And this is the Windows install broken up here in partitions, which is the boot partition there, EFI system partition. Then you've got a Microsoft reserved partition there. Then you've got the basic data partition, which is your C drive. As you can see, it's 80 gig in size. And then you've got this partition here, hidden. I'm not sure what that partition's for, to be honest. Might be some sort of backup or restore or something like that, possibly. It's 500 megabytes in size. But what we need to do is we need to select this one here, the biggest, biggest part of the disk, or the biggest chunk, which is 80 gig, which will be the C drive and we right click that and we go to resize or move. Now, all we need to do here, we can type in the space we want here or we can use this slider and slide it uh, to where we want it. So the new size in megabytes, the current size is 81 gig. We've got this yellow bit here. I would think that that's where the Windows system partitions probably come up to, but I wouldn't even go anywhere near that. So as you can see, the new size is the new size of the of the current partition. And you can go as low as 19 gig. I wouldn't go that low. So the free space following is what we're after. And in when we when I did the shrink disk in Windows, I made it about 30 gig, I think. So that's what we're going to do here. We'll make it 30 gig. And for an exact 30 gig it'll be uh, 3720. 3729 is close enough. So um, I think we made it 30, 3720 on when we shrink the disk in Windows. We'll just make it whatever the slider allows us to come up to. We probably can just go like that if we want, make it exactly 3720. We'll make it exactly the same as what we did in Windows and we shall resize. So this is going to be the free space following here is our 30 gig that we're going to install Ubuntu into. So that's resize. So there's a bit of a, um, a caution there, which is moving a partition might cause your operating system to fail to boot. Yep, uh, that's fine. That's click OK. And there's our 30 gig unallocated space. And we just click on the apply and the apply. And that is the operation completed. So we now have we now have 30 gigs of unallocated space. We can install our Linux distro too. And there was a caution there before we started. And I think that would have to be a caution uh, that you might not be able to boot. That That could mean that if you take too much of this Windows disk 
it may not operate correctly. And I think that's what that caution's all about. I really haven't had any issues with booting, but what we're gonna do is boot this. Um, we're gonna shut this um, live desktop down, power off, and we're gonna boot the Windows to make sure that that is still working correctly. That's what we're gonna do. So we'll go to settings and take away the storage. It's empty, so okay, and start that up. And as you can see, Windows is booting fine. And let's log into Windows. And it's two reasons we're doing this. Uh, first one is to make sure that Windows is still booting. My suggestion to you would be not to take up too much space of your Windows C drive. Uh, this is a VM, only 80 gig. That's why I didn't take too much, but 50 gigs probably comfortable to run a Linux distro. And what we're gonna do here is right click the Start button, go to Disk Management. And if we have a look at Disk Management, and if we have a look at disk management, you can see there 30 gig unallocated space, just like shrinking the disk in, in this application itself, but that was done with the Ubuntu Live Desktop. So now what we're going to do is we're going to boot in Legacy and we'll do the same thing in the Legacy mode. We'll just go to settings once again. I'll take out the, v, the VBox guest editions first, remove that, and then we'll add our Ubuntu 20.04.2 ISO, and then we'll start that, write control key and escape key for, oh uh, well, it's booted anyway, that's fine. Try Ubuntu without installing. So see, with legacy, you um, get the option of your language, control C to skip. So with legacy, I, I didn't even have to actually go into that boot menu. It, it would have it would have um, booted the ISO straight away, and you, got, you get the option for language, and then, um, you get the option to install or try Ubuntu right there and then. Now that's why um, sometimes on legacy you boot directly into a desktop environment because now on, on some of the um, legacies I was doing on booting your USB, I wasn't getting that option. Probably because of the Shintaro was an issue, that's probably what it was. So let's open up Gparted, just like the UEFI boot. So don't forget top right hand corner, Select your disk, that's the only disk we have. We go to view device information. And as you can see, the partition table is MS-DOS because we're booting in legacy. And then we have partition one, which is a boot partition, not an EFI boot, just the normal boot. So they use a separate partition for boot in Windows 10. You then have this one here which is an 80 gig, again, same as the UEFI uh, Windows 10. And then you have this one again, some type of um, system reserved or possibly restore partition maybe. So once again, we look for the biggest part or the biggest chunk of the, these partitions here, which is clearly the 79.45 gigabyte, which is the 80 gig partition. We right click on that, resize and move. And we can use the slider for the free space following will be 3720. It can be very difficult to get exactly 720 using the slider. <laughs> so we'll just uh, knock that down to 3720. We'll do all these the same. So that's your free space following. And this will be the remaining space of your Windows 10 C drive. So let's click resize slash move. And once again, we get the caution. Moving a partition might cause your operating system to fail to boot. Um, well, it didn't cause any problems in the last one, shouldn't cause any problems with this one either. And then we click apply and apply that. And that is the operation successfully completed. Let's close that. There's our 30 gig unallocated space. Let's close Gparted and let's shut down Ubuntu. Make sure the disk has been removed or the ISO has been removed in storage. It has. Okay, and we will boot Windows 10 Legacy to make sure our Windows 10 is still booting. It's preparing an automatic repair. <laughs> so everything should be okay there anyway. And there's our login screen for Windows 10 Legacy. I'm not sure if Windows 10 Legacy was doing um, some repairs there because of the resize of the disk or whether I've maybe in the past prematurely shut the uh, the VM down. 
a few times, which can happen. I'm not sure which case that would have been. Regardless, it's booted up no problem anyway. And if we right click on the start menu and go to disk management, and if we have a look in Windows 10 Legacy, we can see that we have that 30 gig unallocated partition created by Gparted in Ubuntu Live Desktop Environment, just like shrinking disk in Windows 10. And that is the completion of resizing the disk in both Windows 10 UEFI and Windows 10 Legacy. Just thought I'd do both of them there using Ubuntu 20.04.2 Live Desktop Environment. It's a fairly simple process when you know what you're doing. Either way, Windows, Windows Disk Management, uh, Shrink Disk, or Ubuntu Live Desktop with Gparted and Resize slash Move. Um, they're both fairly simple processes and that gives you the option of doing it either way, um, whichever way you feel comfortable with. So that's it for this one. So join me in the next video where I will be installing Ubuntu 20.04.2 and that will be installed to the partitions created in this video and we will be installing as a dual boot with Windows 10, UEFI and Legacy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it interesting and informative and thanks for watching and I will see you in part five.